Hey guys, so today in this video I'll be talking about the reason why I bought the Asa Mini Pro 12K. Uh, this is one of the most expensive camera that I've ever had to buy uh, as of 2021. And yeah, so it took some selling of my other equipment to buy this camera. <laughs> so at the moment I know the, the camera has pros and cons about the camera, but for me, I uh, the the pro is actually bigger than the cons for me and these are my reason why I personally bought the camera just the fact that it's 12k guys the 12 the black magic 12k camera is the first capable camera to shoot at 12k resolution from the footage that I've seen from the reviews that I've watched uh, the footage is great it's the look everything about the footage is just too nice the only downside is that you have you have to use black magic raw codec obviously at the moment of rec recording this video so uh, for me i don't have an issue with that uh, because i'm transiting you know i'm moving from adobe premiere to davici resolve and then the camera has a super 35 sensor and so you can actually shoot at 12k you can then scale it to 8K, 6K, 4K. So, and also the slow mo capability of this camera, which I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to use. And then you can edit on MacBook Pro because I've seen people, you know, editing the footage on MacBook Pro. And the other reason is that the ND filters, it has an inbuilt ND filters. So many times I go on shoot and then I forget the ND filters. And even sometimes when I hire, you know, lenses, I would, I would, you know, they would still want me to pay for uh, ND filters. And, you know, so with this camera, you don't have to pay because of the ND filters. The ND filters reduce the amount of light that comes into the camera. And then the Asa Mini 12K has an interchangeable lens. It comes with the PM mount and you can you know change the mouse to so canon ef uh nikon ef so for me i bought the ef mount because i know that lens that is the lens that i can easily get and then the price the price of this uh, of this camera as i'm making this video is 5999 us dollars uh, Blackmagic reduced the price by 40%. The price was about 10,000 US dollars. Even then, I still wanted to get the camera. So I was, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, Blackmagic reduced the price 40%. That's, 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 that's huge, you know. And yeah, somehow I feel like, thank God that I, that I did not buy it when it was 10,000. This camera is feature proof. So what I'm looking at at this camera is just knowing the fact that you know I've got a camera that can last for years and years because of the output of 12K. I mean, so when I shoot on 12K, 8K, I know the footage will be valuable in years to come. So that's another reason I bought you know the 12K of the camera this camera provides three method of recording uh, you can record via uh, c fast you can record via c fast sd card and the uh, you can use the uh, usb type c to record using sata or nvme drives so that's what i'm going to be using uh, with this camera so you can shoot at any resolution it doesn't force you to shoot only at 12K. You can shoot at 4K, 6K, 8K, and 12K. So whichever uh, recording options you decide to choose is totally fine. And yeah, so the eighth reason, um, it comes with DaVinci Resolve Studio Activation Key, and which allows you to you know use DaVinci Resolve for free. Honestly, this is one of the reasons that I really, really like. I mean, so um, I'm trying to move from Adobe uh, to DaVinci Resolve, you know, 
uh, just mainly because of the continuous payment that I have to pay for Adobe to continue using it. Unlike just, you know, having the activation key for DaVinci Resolve. Uh, so, yeah, I, I totally, I don't have anything against Adobe. I think it's a good uh, editing software. I've been using it for years and years and years. The only problem I have is that continuous payment that, uh, that Adobe does. I'll be making a follow-up video uh, with this Blackmagic 12K. I'll be talking about the um, other accessories that I will be using along with this camera. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and leave a comment if there's anything you want to know about this camera and I'll do my possible best to answer you. Stay, stay safe out there guys and I'll see you in my other videos.